We'll now go over some best practices for attributing authorship. First, use acknowledgments. Acknowledgments are great for individuals whose contributions were instrumental for the paper, but did not participate directly in producing the scientific result itself. Next, list author contributions. Explicitly listing what each author contributed is important for validating authorship attribution and is also helpful for deciding authorship order. Many publications often even require this information. Next, disclose conflicts of interest. Like we already noted, transparency regarding authors' involvement in related projects is not only important for the audience to know, but is often important to consider when attributing authorship. And then finally, communicate early and often about authorship. Starting the conversation about publication authorship early in a project helps define the roles. But be flexible as the outcomes and progression of a project can often change. In summary, attributing authorship and acknowledging the contributions of all parties involved is an important part of scientific communication. Communicating with all parties about expectations for authorship and publication is critical. In the Pear Deck is now an activity for you to complete. On this slide are again several examples of activities that a scientist may complete um, with regards to a project. For each of the statements listed, drag a circle on the statements that you think describe individuals that should not be authors. Leave statements describing individuals you think should be authors uncovered.